It's a testament to how much the actors cared about Next Generation that every one of us gave notes on the scripts and worked really hard to help it eventually find its way and eventually become the, the great show that it became. And I give a lot of credit to Michael Piller, who is very tragically no longer with us, for uh, coming in around the third season and really seizing control of the writing staff and really giving the show direction, giving the show a voice, and, uh, and, and making Star Trek live up to its potential. Your question, sir. Okay, uh, just to a fellow gamer who has fun, gamers rock. Gamers rock. Uh, yeah. Um, I wonder what your opinion is on the sweater. Which sweater? The first season. The gray with... <laughs> okay, that's not the sweater, sir. <laughs> My apologies. That's all right. The sweater is actually actually has a picture of a clown on it, <laughs> and I love that sweater, <laughs> even though it smells like it is stored in someone's ass. <laughs> I don't know where you like. Have you been to Giant Storage? What do you think that is, guys? Come on. Um, I really hated Wesley's sweaters in the first season because it was 1987, I was 14, 15 years old, and I wanted to wear the awful clothes that teenagers wore back then. Like, I wanted to be wearing Genera Hypercolor shirts, and, and I wanted to be wearing bright neon colors, and uh, instead I was wearing pumpkin-colored sweaters, and, uh, and I didn't like them, and I thought they were weird, I thought they kind of accentuated how my shoulders sort of like make a shape of a triangle. Um, <laughs> And, and we were filming in summer, so they were hot and weird. Um, and also, they weren't a spacesuit, and I thought the spacesuits were cool. Like, I really wanted to wear a spacesuit. One of the greatest days of my life on Next Generation was when I finally got fitted for a proper Starfleet uniform with the, with the jacket and the whole thing, so I could start doing the Picard maneuver when I said that. <laughs> now, the sweater that you're talking about is actually that's Wesley's gay pride spacesuit. <laughs> because it has the rainbow across the shoulders. And, you know, actually, I really, I have extraordinarily fond memories of that spacesuit. I really liked it. It was cool. It was, it was one of a kind. Um, and I loved that those, having each branch of Starfleet represented on that uniform, I thought rep it, it said a wonderful thing about the possibilities that lay in Wesley's future. And it said that... <laughs> that's the sweater, so thank you. Really, um, I thought that it sort of was saying, like, your future is up to you, kid. Work hard, and you can choose one of one of these things. It's also the canonical uh, uniform that Sparks McGee wears.